All right, guys, in this video, you might notice that I look a little different. That's right, I'm getting some help from a new co-host, and I think you're gonna like her. Take a look. Yeah, let's see if it is. I'm nervous. Oh! oh. <laughs> Hey. Before Ruby Rose would blow up after being featured on the music video for Migos' 2017 hit, Bad and Bougie. Before Ruby Rose would drop her own bad bitch anthem, Big Mouth declaring her spot in the female rap game. Before Ruby Rose would make $100,000 in only two days after creating an OnlyFans page and posting a majority of content that was already available on her Instagram. Over the past year, Ruby Rose has proven that she's more than just a music video vixen. She also happens to be a badass MC who knows how to keep her legion of fans of both her music and photo shoots happy. Ruby has just finished wrapping up her senior year at Georgia State after managing to balance an education with a social life and bubbling career as an entertainer far better than most. I mean, just look at some of these grades she's shared over the years across social media. It's pretty amazing to think that Ruby's career as a rapper actually began only a couple years ago when she was staying in Georgia State dorms and rapping with her friends for fun. But after appearing in Bad and Bougie, collaborating with her ex Playboy Cardi on 2018's On Top, and dropping Big Mouth in 2019, she began to receive rave reviews for a talent she didn't even know that she had. What's going on guys and girls? It's your girl Azalea Hart back at it again with a brand new episode. This one taking a look at the life of Ruby Rose prior to fame, here for you on Before They Were Famous. Ruby has been a social media staple for years now, where she first blew up as a model, but with her recent career pivot into rapping, her star is now brighter than ever. Today we thought we'd take a look at her come up and tell you all about it. Don't forget to follow our Instagram account at Before They Were Famous to vote on who you'd like to see next in the series. Alright, let's get into the story. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Ruby Rose was born in Lexington, Kentucky on October 2nd, 1997. Ruby spent most of her childhood in Kentucky, but when she was a teenager, she moved to Switzerland for a year where she was able to learn more about her East African Eritrean heritage. She told Uproxx, all of my mom's side of the family stayed in Switzerland. A lot of Eritrean and East Africans during the war went there. I'm not in touch with it as I want to be, but it's a very big deal and a part of who I am and my upbringing. Ruby's parents have proved to be a huge inspiration to her and she's constantly bringing attention to how they've helped guide her throughout her life. She learned how to be a strong woman and super independent and both parents kept her on track and focused on what matters like an education even in the midst of her blowing up on social media and in the world of hip hop. After coming back stateside, Ruby moved to Atlanta during her junior year of high school. Ruby had always had a secret desire to do something in the entertainment industry. At first, she thought she might be a singer, but she quickly determined that she can't really sing. Then, while living in the hotbed of hip hop culture in Georgia, she found herself more and more immersed in a rap culture, and after graduating high school in 2015, she landed herself a role in Migos' Bad and Bougie music video, which would serve as her first real taste of the industry. How did the transition from being in music videos to now being an artist happen? Um. It was just like, just even doing the music videos, it just like, it just randomly happened and then like doing music, I don't know. It was just... Was it something that you knew you always wanted to do um, as a little girl? Yeah, it's something that I've always known I've wanted to do and then like, like I've always said, I'm just getting older and I'm realizing like now is the time to For act sure. on anything I want to do and I can do anything I want to do, so. For sure. Just got my ish together finally. But it took her a little while longer to get in the booth herself. Instead, Ruby began to focus on her education by attending Georgia State and majoring in political science. She originally intended to take a pre-law course, but since Georgia didn't offer that program, she settled on political science to prepare for law school. With her education playing such a major role in her life, Ruby didn't participate in the music industry again until dropping the track on top with Playboy Cardi in 2018. Originally, this was a song that she had recorded back in 2016, but it wasn't released until two years later. To be honest, it wasn't the success as she was hoping it would be. She told Uprox, that was like the second time ever having headphones and a microphone in front of my face. And people would skip my verse on that song. My own damn song. Thankfully, Ruby's music career has shown a whole lot of progress since then. Some of her subsequent tracks like Hit Yo Dance featuring Yella Breezy and NLE Choppa have been huge hits. Hit Yo Dance, 
Um, it had the sample from What Happened to That Boy. Mm -hmm. um, Hitmaker, OG Parker, and Romano did it. Beezy's on the hook. NLE Choppa is on the verse. Super hard. Um, How did that collaboration come about? So we, me and BZ did it with Hitmaker. Like as soon as I signed to Hitco, we did it like one day in the studio. And then <clears throat> my A&R is cool with Choppa's people and got him on the verse. And we actually just shot the video in LA and then Memphis. Ooh. But her own confidence in terms of her future in the music industry was never on solid ground. Because as a social media model, people just automatically assumed she wouldn't be any good at rapping. Thankfully, the release of Big Mouth changed everything. She said, after I dropped the Big Mouth snippet of me in the studio, it went crazy. Then I dropped the actual song, then I saw the reaction. That's when I knew something was up. Bitches be yelling every word to my music now. Now Ruby feels right at home in the studio where she always needs to keep three things at all times. Weed, Sibley Lemonade, and good vibes. While she still might be in the early stages of her career as a musician, there's little reason to doubt that Ruby is gonna be a huge success. After all, she had labels calling her and hitting her up nonstop just to sign her. Eventually, she settled on Hitco after deciding that a fresh up and coming label would put more effort into building her career than a label with a ton of other established artists. It's a smart decision on her part, and that really shouldn't come as a surprise at this point because Ruby Rose is well on her way to being a massive success on multiple fronts. I mean, talk about your triple threat. She's a model, a rapper, and now a college graduate with a political science degree. If one thing has been made clear to you guys throughout the course of this story, I hope it's that Ruby has her priorities set and it's thanks in large part to her mom. She told Flaunt, it's a lot, but I schedule my classes on Mondays and Wednesdays only. I work everything around that and I just stay on it. I have help. My mom's African as hell, so I have to finish. In other words, thanks to her tireless work ethic, the world is now Ruby Rose's oyster. And I'm sure she wouldn't want to have it any other kind of way. Whatever your dream is, deadass, do whatever your dream is and keep going till you get it. As for the rest of her story, well, I think we'll end this video here. After all, this is before they were famous. What did you guys think of Ruby Rose's story? Anything in particular stand out to you? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're at it, maybe drop me a link or two to some of your favorite Ruby Rose pics on Instagram. Hey, what can I say? The research never stops around here, you know? Don't forget to follow our new Instagram account at Before They Were Famous to vote on what's next. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!